all right yo what's going on guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get chikara shards extremely fast in anime fighting simulator x but before we get into the video 91.7 of you guys to watch my videos are not yet subscribed what are you guys doing it is totally free and you guys can always unsubscribe to the channel whenever you guys want to because it's free and it doesn't cost anything so please subscribe it will help me a lot I'm trying to reach 40k before the end of the year but all right enjoy the video you guys all right so the people that clicked on this video are all wondering how can i acquire some of those juicy jikara shards well it's actually not that easy as you might think in this game jikara shards are a little bit harder to get but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get jikara shards fast like extremely fast all right so no more mumbling we should just get right into it all right so number one way is more for the beginners but you can actually just take a quest here so you can get some yen as well and then you know what just start defeating them because they have a chance of dropping jikara like 51 jikara right there and if you do have a lot of power they're gonna be one shot right they're gonna be one shot so you can just go around and do this for a good amount of time like i punch them twice they're dead 58 chikara you do that a couple times and you're gonna have yourself some juicy chikara it's really not a bad way if you are new to the game uh, also there is a faster way if you are better you could probably take the higher level mobs like even just the cyclops which are over here right behind the library i think they are a little bit better i don't know how much they drop but i think they have a little bit of better drop chances and they just drop more in general right so the next method is actually just by collecting those boxes around the map if you do get a purple box it has a way higher chance of giving you actually like a good amount of chikara shards uh i can't seem to find one right now but they are like shiny and stuff uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna find one i think everyone has been taking them yeah i'm in a stacked server right now so it's uh kind of sad not gonna lie but uh it is what it is i'm just gonna find one okay if there's none on the main island i'll go over to the sand island there's gotta be one here man oh i found one so i found a common one which is gray there is i'm pretty sure blue purple and legendary which is yellow obviously so if you get yellow you know you're gonna get a lot more <laughs> so that is a method you can go around and find those they aren't the best method i'll be completely honest they're kind of poor when it comes to how much you get but it is a method and uh, nonetheless right another method is simply by just doing your achievements i think this could actually be one of the best methods to get jikara shards they they sadly don't stack with chikara boost so if you get a chikara boost it doesn't like double which is you know kind of sad but it is what it is if you just simply do these which are pretty easy roll 50 champion pods obviously you need like 50,000 to even get that 1,000 right there but completing quests and just reaching level on your sword and stuff or speed or just in general you do get quite a bit and yeah i recommend doing these because a lot of people are probably gonna be not so interested in like focusing on them because i mean they're kind of like side things which you know is fair enough but like like look at reputation if you go all the way down that's forty-five thousand jikara shards which you know that's a lot that's a lot of jikara shards right there and then even just 500k you know 25 000, 15 000, you just keep on doing those achievements and uh yeah you're gonna be getting quite a bit of jikara shards doing that as well there is uh, another method which is more pay to win uh, i mean it is pay to win and it's simply just by claiming your daily rewards remember to claim them i mean you get a free one every single day and you get vip also one more you do actually get jikara every hour 1000 car up for free so it's not gonna cost you anything you see free in 59 minutes and 55 seconds remember to check your shop every now and then pretty sure there's gonna be an exclamation point right there if you are ready to uh, claim some more chikara another method is actually by defeating these guys so i'm pretty sure they drop re like they drop a really good amount but obviously you need to be a little bit higher like level and stuff because yes they uh they do a lot of damage they're pretty good so maybe even bring your friends along you keep in mind you will get less if you're bringing your friends but you know it's still better than like nothing <laughs> okay so another one is you know the vegeta right here with right here with my boy vegeta there's the boss pain you can do this one too uh he's you know a little harder and in my opinion not the best thing to do i mean you could do it if you if you're really good and you have maybe one friend with you i think you could farm this very much and uh yeah get a lot of jakara this way i think this is going to be broken if you have a lot of friends with you and then for the reason every single one of you came here like how to get really rich on it so my best tip is by having chikara boost on which i'm pretty sure yeah you can just get through doing you know quests or whatever in achievements i'm um, yeah just doing an achievement pretty sure you can get a 
couple of those. And if not, it's all right. But doing your daily quests. Daily quests give you a thousand Chikara shards. And if, you know, if you only, obviously if you have double, then, you know, it's going to give you 2000. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it might not be like so much for you if you're, you know, far into the game. I mean, the game is brand new. So if anybody's watching this in the future, then yeah, this might not be as much, but you know, it's, it's a lot for release. Also, you can do side quests like Spade, Jira, and Killua. And if you just do those, I mean, you're going to get Chikara there as well, right? If you just keep on doing the, these things that I've been telling you in this video, you're going to be getting a lot of Chikara. I mean, especially, you know, main quest line, side quest line achievements. They give you so, so much. Also, same with bosses. I mean, you just need to get a group of people together to uh, absolutely annihilate those bosses. And then you should be good to go. Look at this. I just found a blue uh, blue chest. What do we get? I I, I didn't get any Chikara. What? what? That, that, that's, that's, that's weird, man. That's weird. I don't know if they actually are that good, but I, I know they do a good amount. If you get like legendary, <laughs> I mean, Epic really gives you like a couple hundred to maybe a thousand. I'm not 100% sure what the drop rates are. I do think they stack with the, uh, the boost though. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the last method for today is not really working yet, but if you're watching this in the future, it probably will work. And by redeeming codes, I might have my own code one day. Let's see. Mm, we might see, we might see, we might see, we might see. No, but redeeming codes is probably going to be a really good way to get Chikara as well, uh, later after a couple updates, possibly. Uh, but yeah, those really are the only ways of getting Chikara right now. And I'm sorry if the video did not live up to your expectations, since there aren't really many good, good ways of getting Chikara. You just really have to do the same thing over and over again uh, to get those Chikara shards. But uh, in the long term, I suppose it's worth it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more AFSX content. And I will see you guys with another video another day. Goodbye, everyone.